Did you know if you have a moving object in Blender and you check motion blur and then we render it and we go to the compositor, you can see that we've got motion blur here. But one issue with this is it doesn't make total sense that the blurriness is equal on all sides. Our cube is moving left to right. So in some ways, this is like seeing the future here. It shouldn't necessarily be blurry on this side because it hasn't arrived here yet. But we can change that just by adjusting our shutter curve over here and then we re-render it. Now you'll see it's less blurry where it's going, but it stays blurry in its trail, which is more true to life, I feel like. Unfortunately though, motion blur can't be changed after you render. But if we uncheck it and we go over to our view layer and then we check vector and then we render it again it'll look like nothing's happened but then we add in our vector blur in our compositor we plug in our vector output to the speed input and now we have blur again the benefit of using this is you can change it in post but the drawback is that we lose that more realistic blur a lot of the times this does the trick though and maybe in the future they'll figure out how we can change the shutter curve in post with the vector blur node. As far as I know, there isn't a way to change this in post now, but if anyone knows how to change this shutter curve using just the post processing vector blur node, drop it down in the comments because I'd be super interested to learn about that. Don't forget to save this post for later and follow for more.